Let us start our current affairs. Riyang tribe. R E A N G. Riyang tribe community. Particularly vulnerable tribal group. Earlier, we used to call them as primitive tribes. Now, the word primitive tribes is not used. Particularly vulnerable tribal community. Riyan tribes reside in Tonggars, bamboo huts. T O N G Tonggar, bamboo huts. They belong to basically Tripura. Riyan tribes basically belong to. Tripura. Next. Even project. E V I N. E V I N. Even project. Electronic vaccine intelligence network. Electronic vaccine intelligence network. All stocks and vaccine data will be under this electronic surveillance. Particularly in even project, some of the medicines are stored in the cold storages. The temperature of the refrigeration and their decrease, everything will be monitored through mobile application through even project electronic vaccine intelligence network it is being supported by UNDP United Nations Development Program it is being supported by UNDP electronic vaccine intelligence network even is indigenously developed project indigenously developed technology to digitize vaccine related information to digitize vaccine related information next current affairs world press freedom index 2017 world press freedom index 2017 it is published World Press Freedom Index 2017 is published annually by Reporters Without Borders. Reporters Without Borders. It will measure. It will measure the freedom available to the press. The freedom available to the press and journalists worldwide the freedom available to the press and to the journalists worldwide. It will take a lot of considerations like pluralism, media independence, pluralism, media independence, media environment, self-censorship, self-censorship, transparency, Transparency, abuse of the freedom and abuses on journalists, infrastructural support, infrastructural support, reporters without borders will give this index. This year in 2017, India's ranking is 136 out of 180 countries 136 out of 180 countries press freedom index two days back in hindu paper we have an article on machine learning machine learning there's a chance that 
a mains question can be asked. Recently, artificial intelligence, robotics, industrial revolution 4.0, IoT, Internet of Things, are appearing in almost all the regular newspaper articles. Recently, machine learning is appeared in the newspapers. The term machine learning is not of recent origin. It was coined by Arthur Samuel in 1959. The term machine learning was coined by Arthur Samuel in 1959. Without giving any data or express commands, without giving any express commands or knowledge to the computers, machines learning to do certain activities themselves, machines learning to do certain activities themselves with the practice of having some coordination and program capability, machines learning to do certain activities themselves is called machine learning. This might be the main question. You can prepare an answer by yourself on machine learning. Machines learning some capabilities by themselves. Particularly here in computer science. In computer science, machines learning certain activities for themselves. This is called machine learning. Machine learning is a field of computer science. It's a field of computer science that use ability to computers, the ability to learn, <coughs> that gives computers the ability to learn without being, without being explicitly programmed, without being explicitly programmed. As we all know, Three days back, America announced that it is coming out of UN Global Compact on Migration. Three days back, America announced that it is coming out of UN Global Compact on Migration. The summit of UN Global Compact and Migration is being held at Mexico. It is being held at Mexico. The summit of UN Global Compact on Migration is being held at Mexico. Yesterday, December 10th, is the International Human Rights Day. December 10th is the International Human Rights Day. On December 10th, 1948, on December 10th, 1948, Universal Declaration of Human Rights was adopted by UN General Assembly. On December 10th, 1948, Universal Declaration of Human Rights was adopted by UN General Assembly. From that time onwards, December 10th is considered as the International Human Rights Day. From that time onwards, December 10th is considered as the International Human Rights Day. And on the same day, generally every year, Nobel Peace Prize is awarded. Yesterday, I can, I can receive Nobel Peace Prize. It's a campaign against nuclear weapons. I can receive Nobel Peace Prize yesterday, December 10th. Let us come to the editorial today. Crunch time at WTO. Crunch time at WTO. Yesterday, on December 10th, 2017, at you know there is the capital of Argentina. At Buenos Aires, 
the capital of Argentina, WTO 11th Ministerial Conference started. WTO 11th Ministerial Conference started. There are many contentions in this 11th Ministerial Conference. Number one. India, Indian Commerce Minister Suresh Prabhu has a very big agenda on this. World Trade Organization is formed for the level playing field in the international trade. World Trade Organization is formed for establishing a level playing field in the international trade. Initially, it started in 1995. WTO got established in 1995. Replacing GATT, General Agreement on Trade and Tariffs. GATT is an agreement. WTO is an organization. GATT, G-A-T-T, -T, General Agreement on Trade and Tariff, is an agreement. WTO is an organization. WTO is formed in 1995. To understand WTO issues very easily, developed world is on the one side, developing world is on the other side. Developed world on the one side, developing world is on the other side. G33 is a group which was formed to bring reforms and for the betterment of WTO to make it as a better level playing field by the developing countries. Developing countries asked for special safeguard mechanism SSM. For example, our farmers suffer a lot. So we have to support our farmers. In most of the developing and underdeveloped world, we have various problems in our agricultural sector. We need to support our manufacturers, farmers, because our conditions are very bad. Whereas, the rich countries, the industrialized countries do not support this. They ask for trade facilitation. Already trade facilitation agreement was finalized, TFA. Now, as you all know, even if India wants to distribute food freely, even if India wants to distribute food freely, it cannot do it because WTO subsidy issues will come. Subsidies should not exceed 10% as per 1986 data. As per 1986 levels, subsidies should not cross 10%. If India want to give food freely, it cannot do that. WTO regime will come. To implement our Food Security Act, India have taken special permission. India signed a peace clause with America that it is permissible in India to give more subsidies than 10%. This is the first issue. Even if you want to do that, in a poor country, you have to take WTO permission. India is a developing country. Even if you want to give food freely to a starving man, you have to take permission. Second issue. We have TFA in goods. Trade facilitation agreement in goods. India is known for services. India is known for services. Now, India is aiming for trade facilitation agreement for services because India's provost lies in service sector. If trade facilitation agreement comes in service sector, it is good for India. Next important aspect is in Bureau there is, in Bureau there is the developed countries are trying to bring e-commerce issues. India and other developing countries 
are not ready to discuss e-commerce, don't want any regulation right now on e-commerce. We don't want right now WTO rules on e-commerce right now. We want some time, India and other developing countries. Whereas developed countries already are worrying about e-commerce issues. Apart from that, DDA, we have a term called DDA, Doha Development Agenda. In 2001, Doha Development Agenda is nothing but the issues of developing world. The issues of developing world regarding agriculture, manufacturing and other issues. Which the developed world is not agreeing. Developed world is not ready to discuss about DDA. Whereas developing world is still sticking on DDA. Doha development agenda. And uh, this is considered as a crunch time for WTO. Whether the developing world have the right for public stock holding of food gains or not, to what extent they are allowed. And here, India and China on various issues, particularly trade distorting subsidies by the rich countries. India and China are very strong to counter the developed world regarding trade distorting subsidies. On one side, the developed world is giving trade distorting subsidies. On the other side, they are asking the developing world not to give any subsidies to the poor people. India and China now are in single stand along with other G33 countries. Now, they want to, want to have the developed countries to end the trade distorting subsidies. This is the entire topic on WTO. Let us see how Bunozari's outcome comes out. Yesterday it started. Let's see that. And one more point in here. Bunozari's 60 individuals from 20 international NGOs are not allowed to enter into Bunozari's because of security reasons. 60 individuals who belong to 20 different NGOs are not allowed to enter into Bunozari's because of some security reasons. This also you should consider. Next important article today. A game of chicken in the Korean Peninsula. A game of chicken in the Korean Peninsula. Last week, North Korea test fired its missile which has arranged to attack America. It has arranged to attack America. Here, a game of chicken. The heading itself is a fantastic heading. A game of chicken. Let us take an example. There are two cars. Two cars are running in opposite direction very fast. Two cars are coming in opposite direction very fast. If one car has to survive, it has to swear. If the other car has to survive, it has to swear. But if two cars crash, two will get damaged. But here, if you give the way out and turn your side, you will be considered as covered. You will be considered as covered. So both the cars are egoistic. America and North Korea. No one wanted to budge. Disastrous to both. Disastrous to both. China is also very about the situation. The worst condition for China is if North Korea and South Korea gets a single peninsula, Korean peninsula, if North Korea and South Korea gets united, China's progress in the region will be questioned. China does not want it. Now the thing is, America, Japan, China, Russia, North Korea, South Korea, they should come to a dialogue table. Like P5 plus 1 talks in Iran, for, with respect to Iran, 
we should consult also do the same thing with respect to North Korea. Generally, there is a picturization of Kim, a madman, irrational man, eccentric man. No. Kim is doing everything blandly. It's all well planned situation. Kim is going step by step. If he now agrees for withdrawal of his nuclear weapons, suspension of all his technology, he will be like Saddam Hussein or Gaddafi. Saddam Hussein of Iraq, Gaddafi of Libya. He will be snubbed completely. He knows very well. For that reason, he is not coming and yielding. What happened to in Iraq? In Iran. If you consider Iran, Obama have a deal. P5 plus 1 deal, Obama agreed. Trump have come and have not certified the deal. Extended the deal. That means tomorrow America can do anything. Kim knows this very well. Don't consider that Kim as a mad person. This is one article. Next article is about Africa. Turn the page. Heading of the article is Turn the page. African National Congress. African National Congress now is going to have another leader. Till now we have Jacob Juma. For many years the administration is with corruption, nepotism and all sorts of scandals. Now again, new leadership is coming up. The new leader of African National Congress will not only carry the legacy of African National Congress, but also the liabilities and bad name of African National Congress. Even Jacob Juma's former wife, she is also Dalmini Juna. Juma was also a candidate for this. She might hide if she comes. The mistakes, the wrongs committed by their son and relatives also. There is a chance. A next important article is about Triple Talaq. As we all know, a new bill is going to be introduced in the parliament. A new bill is going to be introduced in the parliament to make triple talaq a criminal offence. Punishable for three years. Punishable for an imprisonment of three years. The other is critical about this punishment. The other is quite critical because even if a man tells instantly in his house, where is the proof for that? If you punish him for three years, for many offences like rioting, even theft, the punishment is not more, more than three years. The same punishment you are giving for, the same punishment you are giving for instant talaq. This is not a right issue. Change should come from within the people. You should not equate with the offences like rioting, molestation, all these things with this. <coughs> Triple talaq issue. You should not deal in the same way. This was the contention of the other. Next important article. Re Readers editor. Hadiya case. Deal with sensitivity. Journalists while writing articles. Journalists while writing articles on Hadiya issue. They should also understand the sensitivities of the case. They should not write whatever they want. And next article is written by Charles Ellen. Charles Ellen. How a post got its name? The simple thing, Coromandel Post, the east coast of India. How the name Coromandel Post have come? How the history got evolved? How names are exchanged? The other road in a good perspective. History optional students have to read this and you, you should also know some basic facts. You read this article for GS Art and Culture, the Chola Empire, Gurudishwara Temple, VOC, the Dutch Empire. These things are important. You can read from the article. The last article today is Gurkha Janamukti Morcha. Gurkha Janamukti Morcha was formed by Bimal Guru. Now it was led by, one of the factions led by Vinay Tamang. 
They want separate state for good cars. And now West Bengal. West Bengal government again has to take a proper decision on Gurkha issues, Gurkha Territorial Administration GTA, so that a better agreement will come. Otherwise, if they, if they don't sort out the problems, problems will escalate again. These are the important current affairs today.